the Thai T625 Golf Bay represents a significant leap forward for Turkey's aviation industry, marking the nation's ambition to become self-reliant in critical defense technologies. Developed by Turkey's aerospace industries, the Golf Bay is a twin-engine Monteron utility helicopter engineered to support a range of operational demands. As the first fully indigenous designed and manufactured helicopter of its kind, the Golf B embodies Turkey's commitment to reducing dependency on foreign suppliers and strengthening its defense autonomy. The Golf B program was initiated in 2013, spurred by Turkey's need for a versatile, domestically produced helicopter capable of filling various roles traditionally served by foreign models like the UH-1. Equipped with cutting-edge avionics, advanced communication systems, and versatile mission capabilities, the T625 is crafted to serve in a wide array of scenarios. Initially powered by Honeywell Rolls-Royce CTS-800 engines, more recent versions have transitioned to the TS-1400 engines, an indigenous turboshaft engine developed by TUSAS Engine Industries. The switch to domestically produced engines underscores Turkey's emphasis on defense independence, as the ST-1400 enhances the operational flexibility and reduces risks of supply chain disruptions. With a cruising speed of approximately 165 knots and a maximum service ceiling of 20,000 feet, the Golf Bay is well suited for Turkey's diverse climate and challenging trends, from mountainous regions in the east to coastal zones along the Mediterranean. The helicopter's capacity to transport up to 12 personnel or a significant cargo loss enables it to perform critical missions in search and rescue, medical evacuation, troop transport, and VIP transit. According to a Turkish government announcement on October 29, 2024, the first copy helicopters were delivered to the Gendarmerie General Command, marking the start of Turkey's phased adoption of this domestically produced platform. Under a series production agreement, an additional two helicopters are expected to be delivered by the end of 2024, with a total of 20 planned for distribution across Turkey's defense branches by 2026. In a more ambitious move, the Turkish Naval Forces Command has projected a substantial order of 57 Gopi helicopters intended for phase delivery as additional series production commences. The deployment of these helicopters will significantly enhance the Navy's ability to execute SAR, transport and reconnaissance missions in maritime environments, especially in the Aegean and Eastern Mediterranean regions. The Gokby's deployment will extend beyond military applications. The Turkish Ministry of Health is set to receive specially modified Gokby helicopters configured as air ambulances. Beginning in 2026, these medical variants will offer life-saving airlift capabilities, particularly in remote or mountainous areas with limited road access, improving Turkey's emergency medical response network. Additionally, the helicopter's VIP transport version is intended to support governmental and other high-profile transport needs, further demonstrating its adaptability to various roles beyond purely military applications. Since its official launch, the GOP has been seen as a vital asset in modernizing Turkey's helicopter fleet 
and addressing the aging UH-1 models that have long been a staple of the country's rotary wing assets. The helicopter's ability to operate in Turkey's diverse climate zones and high altitude areas has made it particularly valuable. Its success in rigorous testing phases across variable weather and terrain conditions has reinforced confidence in its reliability. Designed with Turkey's geopolitical landscape in mind, the Gobi can undertake critical missions, especially in conflict-prone border regions and areas requiring rapid response capabilities. Whether in combat or humanitarian scenarios, the helicopter is designed to provide tactical versatility and resilience, crucial for Turkey's defense needs in both peacetime and active deployment. In the context of modern warfare, the copy contributes to Turkey's force mobility and strategic autonomy. Its role is essential in Turkey's pursuit of independent defense capabilities, allowing it to operate without relying on foreign maintenance or parts, which could be hindered by international sanctions or embargoes. This self-sufficiency in helicopter production enhances Turkey's readiness, particularly in critical defense sectors that require rapid and flexible response such as counter-terrorism, search and rescue, and air medical evacuations. Moreover, as geopolitical tensions continue to simmer in the eastern Mediterranean, Black Sea, and Middle East regions, the Gobi's deployment within the Turkish armed forces and other government agencies represents a strategic asset. Its adaptability for different mission types and durability in challenging climates align with Turkey's defense and humanitarian support strategies, ensuring that the country is prepared to meet a wide range of operational scenarios. The T-625 Gobi has garnered interest from international buyers, particularly those seeking cost-effective, reliable utility helicopters without the complexities associated with purchasing from larger defense suppliers. For Turkey, exports of Gobi offer a valuable opportunity to extend its influence within the defense industry and strengthen partnerships with nations looking for accessible alternatives to Western or Russian platforms. While concrete export agreements are still developing, the T625's adaptability makes it an appealing choice for countries with diverse terrain and operational needs from mountainous areas to coastal regions.